Complete Blockchain Guide. Understand blockchain in minutes. With the evolution of human beings over thousands of years, from the Stone Age to the digital era that we are in right now, we can most certainly state that we have come a long way. Human beings evolve, the technology associated with them also evolves, and so do the financial models over hundreds of years. We are moving from fiat currencies to digital currencies. The fiat currency used a physical ledger, such as books to keep records of transactions, but these were prone to various errors. Although ledgers are now in the form of servers, they are still centralized and under the authority of banks or institutions. Hence automated digital ledgers were sought after to address all the issues related to the centralized ledger. This is where blockchain technology kicks in. With changing trends in finance, many major financial institutions like banks and governments have started adopting technology to bring transparency and efficiency to their day-to-day -day operations. These integrations of the worlds of finance and technology have been coined as fintech or financial technology. This article focuses on the aspects which are essential to know about blockchain, its working, different types of blockchains, what are the best case scenarios to use blockchain, why is it being called the future of data centers, and more. So let's learn more about this technology. What is blockchain? Unless you have been on a long nomadic trip or have been living under a rock, you would have come across a term called cryptocurrency, the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum. The transactions of these cryptocurrencies are carried out digitally since these are virtual currencies. This is where blockchain technology comes into play. Blockchain is a decentralized, distributed ledger technology that records the origin and existence of digital assets using a peer-to-peer -peer network. In simple words, a large set of a database that permanently records all the digital currency transactions. Transactions take place on a peer-to-peer -peer basis unlike on centralized data systems of banks. These data blocks are added only after all the other nodes authenticate the transactions and reach a common consensus. It is sometimes referred to as distributed ledger technology DLT, which aids the distribution of digital asset transactions, not copied or transferred. This revolutionary technology is a savior, which the digital assets rely on for transparency. Blockchain reduces the risk of fraud and dependence on third-party verification. Block consists of data related to digital asset transactions, a unique hash number, and a unique block header. The succeeding block consists of the hash number previously formed block. These blocks are connected such that it becomes a chain of blocks, hence named blockchain. Let's consider an analogy. Blockchains can be considered as a large set of data storing structures that are identical to spreadsheets, but you cannot edit the data once that enters, and any changes to that data should constitute a new block or append. These sets of data are not stored in one single centralized server but on a lot of its users' devices, hence distributed. Of course, there are more functionalities to the blockchain, but this must give you a very simple idea to define this not so easily definable technology. History of blockchain The idea of blockchain protocol was first proposed by cryptographer David Chom in his 1982 dissertation, Computer Systems Established, Maintained, and Trusted by Mutually Suspicious Groups. However, the year 1991 was regarded as important for the blockchain when computer scientists Stuart Haber and W. Scott Stornetta introduced a practical solution for timestamping digital documents so that they could not tamper. The technology or the system uses the secured chain of blocks backed by the cryptography method to store the timestamp documents. Merkle Tree in 1992 came up with the blockchain's design to make it more efficient by allowing several documents to be collected and stored in one block. But unfortunately, the patent lapsed in the year 2004. After this, Stefan Konst published his theory of cryptographically secured chains, plus ideas for implementation. Computer scientist Nick Sabo works on BitGold, a decentralized digital currency. Hal Finney, a computer scientist and cryptographic analyst introduced the reusable proof of work, RPAL. It can be considered as the earliest prototype for blockchain technology. However, 
it took almost three decades to see the first blockchain implementation in the real world by a person, or group of people, known as Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008. Nakamoto significantly improved the design using a hashcash-like method to timestamp blocks without requiring them to be signed by a trusted party. Types of blockchain There are at least four main types of blockchains that are in use, public blockchains, private blockchains, hybrid blockchain and sidechain. 1. Public blockchains As the name suggests, these types of blockchains have no access restrictions. These are usually open source and are transparent to everybody with internet access. Anybody can take part in the process of validation to submit the proof of work and may be incentivized proportionately. Another very important feature of a public blockchain is that it is designed to be not owned by an organization or an individual, hence completely decentralized. X. Bitcoin blockchain, Ethereum blockchain, etc. 2. Private blockchains Private blockchains, also called permissioned blockchains, unlike public blockchains, have restrictions on who can access the network. These are administered by an administrator who approves the access of users in the ecosystem. Primary users may include individuals or companies who want their transactions or data to be secure and only accessible by the selected few, hence centralized. The advantage of private blockchain over the public blockchain is that the consensus or verification mechanism takes less time. The similarities between blockchain are that these perform similar functions, both function as an append-only ledger where no data can be altered or edited once validated. Both blockchains types have a complete set of transaction ledgers on each node, hence distributed over peer-to-peer. -peer. Validation is only approved after the majority of the nodes reach a consensus. Examples. Ripple, XRP, and Hyperledger 3. Hybrid blockchain Hybrid blockchains are a combination of public and private blockchain systems depending on the needs of the users and the applications. These types are best for companies that are working on some secret projects hosted on a private blockchain, but also have a product that needs to be used by their customers, hence should be a public blockchain. 4. Sidechain Sidechains can be classified to be blockchain ledgers that can run in parallel with the primary blockchain. Entries from primary sources can be stored and linked if needed, with a different algorithm. It could be used as a backup blockchain. How does blockchain work? Blockchain is a distributed, decentralized public ledger which is a continuously appending list of records that are stored in the form of blocks. These blocks in a blockchain are secured through cryptography, which keeps the confidentiality of the transactions intact. A blockchain is a time-stamped series of immutable, tamper-proof records of data that is not managed by a central authority but managed by a cluster of computers, called nodes. So imagine, John wants to invest in digital assets, so he has to carry out transactions, and he does that on an electronic device. When John requests blockchain for a transaction, he gets connected to a person directly without the interference of any third party like a bank. This is called a peer-to-peer -peer system. A block is initiated for storing the transaction details. The data formed at this level is sent throughout the network to identify the transaction's authenticity. The first device, node, that verifies the transaction gets awarded. When John's transaction gets verified, it becomes a part of this database permanently that stores all the transactions. This database is used additionally to validate other such transactions on a peer-to-peer -peer network, if necessary. If John wants to sell his digital assets to another person, the original block created while he purchased the digital assets will remain the same. To record the new transaction between John and the buyer, a new block will be created on the blockchain network with another unique number. Let's consider an example. A scientific research lab that is conducting trials for a vaccine against a deadly virus. Every iteration of the vaccine trial is to be recorded to observe the progress. If the data of vaccine trials are saved on a server database, there are chances that the data stored may get formatted, deleted or can be erased, manipulated by hackers. But in blockchain, one can neither erase the data that is once stored nor can they manipulate it. It is so safe, that it has not been hacked despite all the efforts. 
Any changes to the data result in the creation of a new block, and the previous version of that data remains in its original form. Mainly, this data can be accessed from any part of the world, if the system is connected with the blockchain platform. Also, the transaction when completed produces data related to transactions and will be stored in blocks, which are chained together with the help of the hash number of the previous block. Regarding safety, the network is decentralized, no single person can alter the asset according to their specific needs but has to be validated by the majority of the nodes. As long as a single organization or a person owns the majority of the assets over the blockchain network, the assets on the network cannot be modified or altered. Hence it is safe. Evolution of the blockchain technology All the inventions need timely upgrades to solve the issues related to the previous version and for better performance. Blockchain technology also has been modernized over time and requirements. Bitcoin, currency cryptocurrency, mainly Bitcoin, is the first use case of blockchain technology. It allows financial transactions based on DLT. Smart contracts after the blockchain technology was separated from Bitcoin to discover more use cases, the Ethereum blockchain came into existence aiming to execute smart contracts. It is intended to reduce the cost of verification, execution, and fraud prevention. Smart contracts are the predefined computer programs that contain the terms and conditions of the agreements between the two parties. They cannot be altered or changed. DApps DApps or decentralized applications work similar to other normal applications but, the only difference is that DApps work on peer-to-peer -peer networks such as blockchain. Blockchain for Business Blockchain 4.0 aims at implementing Blockchain 3.0 in real-life commercial usage. Some of the real-life use cases are supply chain management, financial sectors, and healthcare. Different types of consensus protocols used for validating transactions on the blockchain A consensus algorithm is a procedure through which all the peers of the blockchain network reach a common agreement about the present state of the distributed ledger. In this way, consensus algorithms achieve reliability in the blockchain network and establish trust between unknown peers in a distributed computing environment. New blocks in the blockchains are added only after the transaction details are verified and the consensus is reached. Benefits of blockchain in cryptocurrency. The need for a physical or trust-based validation process is eliminated. Better speed of transactions. Better connectivity in a peer-to-peer -peer system. Transactions may be carried out irrespective of time, location, unlike banking processes. Accessible from anywhere in the world. Lower transaction charges. Lower transaction failure risks. No risk of double spending. Less fear of account suspensions. No need to secure a minimum balance to carry out transactions. Future of blockchain blockchain has advanced over years and has proved its trustworthy technology. It is easily scalable as a data structure. Blockchain can be used by banking sectors, as card payment transaction ledgers, in stock markets for keeping a record of stock delivery and verify with ease. Blockchain enables us to perform more transactions digitally and reduces the risks involved in the present system. The current financial system works on the trustworthiness of the financial institutions or the governments. The blockchain system reduces the transaction charges significantly since the verification is done by algorithms in a matter of minutes without third parties such as banks and financial institutions. Possible use case scenarios of blockchains in the future. Maintaining medical records of the patients in hospitals, payments or asset transfers around any parts of the world, real-time IoT operating systems, personal identity security, anti-money laundering tracking system, supply chain management and logistics monitoring, the voting mechanism for democratic countries, keeping records of governance or history, advertising insights, original content creation, cryptocurrency exchange, the real estate processing platform. Blockchain, since its inception in 2008, has proved its worth over the current systems in place which is less efficient. Understanding the importance of technology, many central banks and governments have shown interest to study and adopt blockchain for good. Although there is room for improvement, it is to be observed how technology will be implemented by various beneficiary industries. 
How secure is business data in a blockchain? The record on a blockchain is theoretically immutable to change. Sensitive or non-public information can be protected through the use of smart contracts, but this has yet to be put into practice outside of financial institutions. Who establishes the governance model for determining what users may or may not join the blockchain ledger? Blockchain governance is determined by those who set up the system. Changes to the governance can take place through voting similar to the resolving algorithms of transaction consensus. Is blockchain technology restricted only for use in the cryptocurrency market? No, it depends solely on the business and kind of data you want to store looking at the economics, importance of the data stored, and viability of the business. What is consortium blockchain? These blockchains are designed to be administered privately by multiple administrators or organizations, who may be working on the same kind of subjects that may be of mutual interest. These blockchains are not made public unless deemed by the administrators. What is encryption and why is it important in blockchain? Encryption is the process of converting the easily readable and interpretable data into unreadable data for the common user, using targeted encryption algorithms. The people who only have access to the decrypting algorithm can access the data. Since blockchains can be used to store and keep records of data related to finance, the internal security of organizations, or any other sensitive information, to be kept secure from potential hackers who could misuse the information. Everything to know about ETH in 2021. It was actually Ethereum's ability to help launch new crypto projects as ERC-20 tokens via what was called the initial coin offering. An early way for projects to raise capital via crowdfunding where the investors received a portion of the coins for their initial investment. But before we go on, don't also forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you can get a grasp on all videos when uploaded. Much of the new tokens created could only be invested in through an exchange of Ethereum, which caused the asset's price to skyrocket at the height of the crypto bubble by retail investors seeking to strike it rich by finding the next Bitcoin at its earliest investment stages. However, the crypto hype bubble popped, and many of the projects built on Ethereum failed due to no fault of Ethereum's. However, the negative sentiment surrounding other altcoins, and these new ICO-born crypto tokens, caused Ethereum's price to fall as well. Ethereum started its life much under $1 and was only spare changed for ETH during the crowd sale. In just a year's time, it reached a high price of $1,448 driven largely due to the ICO boom, and was extremely profitable for early investors. After regulators began to crack down on ICOs, calling them unregistered securities sales, Ethereum was used less and less for this purpose. However, this was due to the ICO boom ending and not due to Ethereum's long-term price potential or projected growth. Aside from ICOs keeping the price going down, ETH news has been otherwise extremely positive, and speculation suggests that Ethereum future is incredibly bright, and will perform successfully as an investment asset, and has a solid long-term value projection. However, the biggest potential for Ethereum is the massive growth of decentralized finance, also called DeFi. This has dramatically increased the demand for Ethereum in recent months, and has helped the altcoin set a new all-time high at above $1,478. Ethereum Price Prediction for 2021 2021 will undoubtedly be a year for blockchain and crypto to take center stage economically, politically and socially. Here's what I see coming. In 2020, the world started to understand the intrinsic value of Bitcoin as digital gold. In 2021, we will witness the same understanding of Ethereum as digital oil. In the next year, Ethereum will solidify its place as the future substrate of the global digital economy by underwriting the world's contracts. Contracts are the connective tissue of the world. Sales contracts, college acceptances, employment offers, insurance policies, medical prescriptions, NDAs, ISDA agreements, etc. Yes, the world runs on contracts. Ethereum allows contracts to go truly digital. 
The digitization of the contract is the digitization of the global economy, which has been valued at an estimated $270 trillion, compared to the $18 trillion market cap of gold that Bitcoin stands to capture. Ethereum has the opportunity to upgrade entire economies, not just one asset class. Will Ethereum reach 1000 again? Watch this video to the end to find out. Smash the like button, share with your friends, and hit the red button to subscribe. Ethereum 2.0 Phase 1 will successfully happen. On December 1st, the Ethereum community successfully launched Phase 0 of Ethereum 2.0. The network upgrade from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake will make Ethereum scale and run faster with less computing power. In 2021, we will see Phase 1 of Ethereum 2.0 go live, drastically improving scalability. Ethereum has flown up from $127 to $570 growing up by nearly 350%. However, as 2021 begins, it looks like we are on the verge of a massive year. So, before we tell our Ethereum price prediction, let's look at the main factors that will determine the price action. The two game-changing factors that will determine Ethereum's performance are the Ethereum 2.0 upgrade and DeFi. Layer 2 Explosion In 2021, Ethereum will continue to cement its position as the leading Layer 1 blockchain. As with any technology stack, there are many layers that make up an application. With Ethereum as the base layer, we will see an explosion of Layer 2 solutions that will augment the Ethereum main net with unique features, scalability, privacy, interoperability and more. DeFi has grown on Ethereum at an exponential rate, causing gas fees to skyrocket and transactions to slow. Advancements in Layer 2 technologies will provide a scaling solution for all of the microtransactions that do not need to happen on mainnet. So 2021 will be a breakthrough year for projects like ZK Rollups and Optimism. Shout out to Jinglin Wang. As more dApps turn to Layer 2 solutions like state channels to increase transaction throughput up to 100. Ethereum in 2021. The jump towards Ethereum 2.0. The most significant change that ETH 2.0 will be bringing in is the transition from proof of work, POW, to a proof of stake, POS, blockchain. Proof of work is a secure yet highly wasteful process that has prevented ETH blockchain applications from scaling up. With POS, ETH2 will be able to turn the entire mining process virtual. Instead of relying on their processor's strength, proof of stake will depend on the stake that a user locks up in the platform. More the stake, more their hashing power. Along with this change in consensus, ETH 2.0 will be introducing innovations like sharding, ZK rollups, etc. Shard chains, in particular, are an exciting innovation that should scale up Ethereum exponentially. Ethereum 2.0 will be launched using four phases, Phase 0, Phase 1, Phase 1.5, and Phase 2. Phase 0. During this stage, Ethereum will be launching the beacon chain and trigger the POS implementation. The beacon chain starts the proof-of-stake implementation and gets launched when 524288 ETH tokens are staked on the deposit contract, and the number of registered validators have crossed 16,384. Each validator must stake 32 ETH into the deposit contract to successfully participate in the system. Phase 1. During this stage, the main blockchain gets partitioned into 64 shard chains that run parallel to each other. The processing power of the network is channeled across these shard chains simultaneously. Phase 1.5. Between phases 1 and 2, the original POW chain gets merged with the beacon chain to create a hybrid consensus system. Phase 2. Following the POS transition, ETH 2.0 will bring in other features like rollups and additional layer 2 fine-tuning. Ethereum 2.0 currently has over $1 billion worth of Ether, ETH, for the first time. The blockchain has witnessed an increase in deposits, as the number of ETH rose from 98,000 last month to the current 1.5 million ETH. On the other hand, let's look at another number. As per the DeFi Pulse chart, the amount locked in DeFi contracts has risen from $675 million to $13.43 billion. 
a staggering 1,900% increase. So, what does this tell us? The global DeFi market cap is increasing at a rate much faster than the global cryptocurrency market. This shows that the DeFi space is growing almost exponentially. Now, why is this the case? Well, DeFi apps, for better or for worse, are the most powerful and prevalent use cases of DeFi applications of the blockchain technology today. The top three use cases of DeFi are currently as follows. Borrowing and lending. Monetary banking services. Decentralized marketplaces. Conclusion. How much will Ethereum be worth in five years? However, the outlook is definitely very positive. Brian Schuster, the head of Founder Solutions at Arc Capital LLC, predicts that in 10 years, ETH will reach a rather lofty $100,000 per coin. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to get notification when next we post. Thank you. How and why was Bitcoin created? In 2008, a person or group of people with a pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper defining Bitcoin a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Later on January 9, 2009, its code got released as open source, and Satoshi Nakamoto started to mine Bitcoins. Satoshi, after being involved in Bitcoin development till December 2010. That is about all the information about Nakamoto, available in the public domain. Now that we know who created Bitcoin, it is crucial to understand why it got constituted. If you are new to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and notification bell down below so you get to be the first to know whenever we post similar videos like this without further ado let's dive into the video the idea behind creating the decentralized currency was to create an ecosystem parallel with the centralized system of economy which is administered by the rules set by the authorities where the people had to trust the central bank to uphold the value of its currency. The currency operated completely under the discretion of the government. One classic example would be the financial crisis of 2008, which was caused due to bad loans issued by the banks and in return, the banks who were alleged of the crisis were bailed out using taxpayer money or the public exchequer. The point being tax collected from the common people was used to save banks, despite being the accused. This displays the discretionary powers of the government. Many common people lost their life savings and jobs resulting in huge recessions. How does Bitcoin work? Bitcoin is a digital currency that needs a platform to record its transactions called a ledger. Bitcoins use blockchain, another revolutionary technology for a ledger operation. Before we move further, let me give you a brief on blockchain technology. Blockchain also called distributed ledger technology, forms the bedrock of Bitcoin by keeping records of all the transactions. Since this is open source and a public ledger, any user can access the transactions for verification. This system also eliminates the need for third-party verification, eliminating the trust-based transactions that currency banking systems follow. Bitcoin has some key terms. A public key, private key, wallet. The public key is the location where transactions are deposited into and withdrawn. This key represents the holder's digital signature on the blockchain ledger, similar to a username on a social media newsfeed. The private key is the password required to buy, sell, and trade the Bitcoin in a wallet. A private key should be a guarded secret and only used to authorize Bitcoin transmissions. Some users protect their private keys by encrypting a wallet with a strong password and, in some cases, by choosing the cold storage option, that is, storing the wallet offline. Let us consider an example of how Bitcoin transactions get executed on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. John wanted to buy Bitcoin from Jerry. He need to install a program on his digital device called a Bitcoin wallet, that would have a public key, acting as John's address to receive Bitcoin. John can now send Jerry his public key, who wants to sell bitcoins in exchange for US dollars. After John transfers money to Jerry's bank account, Jerry will authorize the transaction using his private key, addressed to John's public address. This transaction gets executed through blockchain. 
Blockchain validates the transaction by comparing it with the majority of transaction pattern records over its database. Only after this process gets completed the transaction is permanently recorded over the blockchain network. Hence paid to John. John can now access the Bitcoin in his wallet using his private key. A cryptocurrency wallet is an application used to store cryptocurrencies. There are many types of wallets like hot wallets, cold wallets, used on different platforms like mobile, desktop, etc. How is Bitcoin generated? Bitcoin is produced by a method called cryptocurrency mining. The method of verifying the transactions to gain rewards, using significant computing power to form a block is called mining. Blocks contain information based on transactions, a nonce, 64-bit, a hash number, 256-bit, of the previous block. Note that you have to have significant access to electricity and should be able to maintain your computing rigs, hence called, mining rigs. The verification of transactions is accepted only when the newly formed block contains proof of work. POW is the process of finding a unique number called nonce. You need not do any calculations or math manually. All you have to do is have a capable electronic device and install the application which the creators prefer. The CPU or GPU in your device will do those calculations for you. It may be mandatory in some cases to keep the electronic devices connected to the internet. Trading on coin exchange platforms one can buy or sell the Bitcoin according to its market value at a given time interval, provided it has enough market liquidity. It is similar to trading on the share markets, but instead, a 24-7 process. Bitcoin is neither stable as stocks nor backed by any physical commodity or assets. You do not receive any physical assets but only receive the addresses of the digital assets that you have purchased, which can be secured in your crypto wallets. There are dedicated platforms such as Binance, Coinbase, Pionex, for the same purpose. But do check for transaction fees before you trade on any of these platforms. How to safeguard and store your Bitcoin. Just like we use wallets for safeguarding fiat currency, there are tools called digital Bitcoin wallets. These wallets store your public key and private keys. The public key acts as an address to your account. The private key sensitive key used as the password to access your wallet. Anybody who has access to your private key can spend the associated cryptocurrency. The different types of wallets. 1. Desktop wallets 2. Mobile wallets 3. Online wallets 4. Paper wallets 5. Hardware wallets Is it safe to invest in Bitcoin? Bitcoin is known to be quite volatile. Its value is subject to a supply-demand basis, as it has to have continuous transactions to keep its network active. Bitcoin is a bubble, said some industry leaders. The steep crash of BTC value, from nearly $20,000 per Bitcoin in December 2017 to around $3,000 in November of 2018 was catastrophic. However, Bitcoin did not stop or vanished after the free fall, yet stood like a mountain and rose to the highest highest ever levels. It is again trading at $35,000 in January 2021, after hitting an all-time high of more than $52,000 very recently. Since the previous crash, Bitcoin showcased a sense of stability with a slow and a steady growth minimizing the volatility. And hence it attracted many other players from various sectors and also many institutions also jumped in to secure their cash reserves. Currently, Bitcoin is among the top 20 fiat currencies in the world according to market cap, outshining the fiat currencies of many countries. Despite all the criticism, many early investors of Bitcoin are worth millions now. We advise you to study the market and invest based on your risk assessments. Advantages of Bitcoin 1. Decentralized as mentioned earlier, Bitcoin cannot be controlled, administered by any central authority but is distributed among all peers worldwide. Bitcoin eliminated the intricacies of transactions in the current financial system that was trust-based transactions via banks. With the integration of blockchain technology, Bitcoin is being transacted on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, eliminating third-party interference. 2. 
Ease blockchain also allows the digital assets to be transacted with much ease as there is less paperwork and wait time for transaction confirmations. Since most of the processes are automated, there are very few issues related to human errors. 3. Economical Since the fiat currency was centralized and there was no other option other than using banks or financial companies like PayPal, which charge a hefty percentage on transactions. Charging nominal transaction fees helps to address the issue. Bitcoin transactions are set at the time that the miners might accept. 4. Secure No matter how secure the banks claim their systems would be since human interference is necessary for verification processes, there are always risks of fraud and insecure transactions. But Bitcoin offers multi-layer crypto algorithms to evade the risk of illegally privatizing the majority of digital asset networks. Most importantly, there is the slightest involvement of humans, which eliminates the factor of human error. 5. Anonymity It is a cause of concern that how much information is demanded by financial institutions for executing transactions. Your banking details or important identities may be stolen and misused. But using Bitcoin offers a feature to keep your identity anonymous that is valued by many. Bitcoin has been through a lot of ups and downs since its inception in 2009. Bitcoin is legal as a mode of payment and transaction in some countries like Japan, the USA, Singapore, Germany passed legislatures to allow trading bitcoins to some countries where it is illegal to transact bitcoins and other such currencies. People with interest term this as a great investment option, whereas some classify this as just another bubble as bitcoin has no solid backing of any kind. It is essential to keep continuous watch over LTP, last traded prices. It is strictly advised to do your due diligence before investing. Hello. Everyone, it's Bashbox, and I'm happy to welcome you to another video. If you have any plans to invest in the crypto market this year, we have good news for you. According to many crypto enthusiasts, 2021 is going to be the best year to invest in cryptocurrencies. We have listed 5 altcoins that can make you rich. When it comes to deciding what crypto to invest in, the choice can be somewhat overwhelming as there are thousands of cryptocurrencies available on the marketplace. So try to watch this video till the end and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In today's video there are plenty of cryptocurrencies believed to have the potential to become big. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin are typical examples of digital currencies that offer a peer-to-peer -peer payment system that is independent of a bank or credit card company. These cryptocurrency or coins use blockchain technology, which is designed to make transactions of all kinds secure, transparent, and accurate. The blockchain is a record of digital transactions that acts as a public ledger. Alright, so I just want to start this off by saying this is only a financial advice, you have to do your research on whatever cryptocurrency you're looking to buy. But I do strongly believe that, these five will be here in the future. I'm going to start off with Ethereum. This is going to be my first coin. I'd recommend. Now, Ethereum is the second most popular coin. It's been that way for a long time. It's up for the year. But if you can get this coin between $250 and $350, I think it's a good long-term hold just on the price appreciating going into the future. It's also one of the safer coins to get right now. I think Ethereum is connected in so many different projects and I think it's just a good one. So that's going to be my first coin. Stellar Lumen XLM is another good coin I would recommend taking a look at. Now, Stellar has fallen from grace in recent years and its future is starting to become unclear. But this doesn't mean that crypto traders should just dump it. Remember that the people behind Stellar used to work for Ripple and the two projects are perhaps the most similar in terms of what they are trying to achieve. And so, this could mean that Stellar might make the best hedge against Ripple, especially with the current situation with the SEC. If Ripple continues to struggle with regulators, we might see crypto traders who liked Ripple move to Stellar. I mean, I think the price is going to appreciate considerably. Now, Stellar wants to be to Bitcoin what Bitcoin is to traditional banks. To achieve that, 
it has developed a system that allows it to process payments almost instantly. As such, it has a similar purpose to Ripple's XRP. Indeed, the two have been competitors for years. But, where Ripple decided to offer its services to the banking sector, Stellar opted to target the people themselves, with no intermediaries. According to CoinSwitch, there has been a lot of positive sentiment regarding the efficiency of Stellar's blockchain payment network, arriving from XRP after Ripple was sued by the SEC for selling an unregistered security. This may also be one of the main reasons why the coin's price surged in early 2021. Cardona Cardona has been a strong player since it entered the game back in 2015 and 2021 looks like it will be another strong year for this cryptocurrency. The key thing that stands out about Cardano is its Ouroboros blockchain, which is really two blockchains that work in tandem with each other. One blockchain deals with general, ordinary transactions, while the other handles smart contracts. The idea is that by separating the two, Cardano can ensure scalability and speed as the two types of transactions will not slow each other down. But there is also a lot more going on with Cardano than first meets the eye. Cardano is a third-generation cryptocurrency that seems to be doing a lot of what Ethereum is already doing but is already using a proof-of-stake algorithm, a move Ethereum has been planning for a long time. On top of that, Cardano also uses time slots, referred to as an epic, where transaction blocks need to be created within a certain time frame by slot leaders, who are voted for by stakeholders. And here's a little interesting fact about Cardano. Up to 95% of people who own Cardano are based in Japan, and Cardano is sometimes referred to as the Japanese Ethereum. In February 2021, Cardano got close to reaching a $30.7 billion market cap and a single coin was $1.07, pretty affordable. Some believe Cardano has a lot more to offer. Dare Shonubi, writing for Coinpedia believes that it could reach as high as $10 by the end of 2021, which if true would make it one of the best coins to invest by far. Have you considered investing in Cardano in 2021? Bitcoin Cash, BCH doubling up to $1,000 or tripling to $1,500. Bitcoin Cash has been a thorn in Bitcoin's side since the day the Bitcoin blockchain was forked in August 2017, and in its three short years, it has garnered a lot of attention from some big names. Bitcoin Jesus, Roger Veer, is often regarded as the face behind Bitcoin Cash, previously being a very adamant supporter of Bitcoin. Like many Bitcoin Cash supporters, he believes that the original Bitcoin has changed far too much from what it was intended to be. Bitcoin Cash supporters point to how Bitcoin has adopted things like the Lightning Network and Segwit 2x, which they believe are unnecessary and move away from Nakamoto's original vision shown in his white paper. However, the Bitcoin Cash team are now working towards implementing smart contracts, which many believe is a huge contraction. Some felt so strongly about this, they jumped ship again, this time to create Bitcoin SV. Another key thing Bitcoin Cash has over Bitcoin is much cheaper fees for transactions as well as being a lot cheaper to invest in too. Despite all the drama, Bitcoin Cash still has plenty of opportunities to invest and make a handsome fortune. In 2020, Bitcoin Cash's highest point was in February where it reached almost a $9 billion market cap getting close to $500 per coin. And then one year later in February 2021, the price of BCH hit $695 per coin. Experts have agreed that the coin could be valued at $1,500 by the very end of 2021. Financial analyst Crispus Niaga, writing for Investing Cube, gave a more grounded forecast, believing BCH will reach $1,000 this year. And lastly, Uniswap. Uniswap is an Ethereum-based dApp for exchanging Ethereum tokens through liquidity pools. Thier team's goal is to remove the barrier of entry into the financial markets by connecting it with the decentralized finance, DeFi, ecosystem. Recently, Uniswap also achieved a milestone of processing over $100 billion in transactions in regard to cumulative volumes. Uniswap features 
Uniswap is a decentralized exchange where users can swap any token with the famed ERC-20 protocol employed by Ethereum, such as USDT, DAI, and many more. Uniswap makes it super easy to swap an ERC-20 token with another ERC-20 token with a few clicks by connecting MetaMask or other compatible wallets to the exchange. Another key features of any DEX is to provide more privacy protection than centralized exchanges. These protocols are permissionless in that they do not require any KYC, know your customer, and anyone can trade without registering into the market. Hence, Uniswap is a protocol that allows buyers and sellers to exchange ERC-20 tokens in a trustless manner. Interestingly, swaps in Uniswap are different from trades on traditional platforms. Uniswap does not use any order book for liquidity or to manage prices. It uses an automated market maker mechanism to provide instant feedback on rates and slippage. Uniswap was introduced in September 2020. Uniswap's Uni is a governance token that was distributed according to a set release schedule. 4,000 Uni tokens were airdrop and offered to users who had previously used Uniswap services. For those interested in trading them, exchanges, such as Bityard and, of course, Uniswap itself. Those free tokens are now worth an eye-watering approximately $12,000, making Uni definitely one to watch in 2021. Remember that as with any investment, it's important to determine your risk tolerance. Conduct thorough research and monitor your positions carefully. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. How and why was Bitcoin created? In 2008, a person or group of people with a pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper defining Bitcoin a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Later on January 9, 2009, its code got released as open source, and Satoshi Nakamoto started to mine bitcoins. Satoshi, after being involved in Bitcoin development till December 2010. That is about all the information about Nakamoto, available in the public domain. Now that we know who created Bitcoin, it is crucial to understand why it got constituted. Welcome to yet another video from Bashbox. I am glad to have you guys once again. If you are new to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and notification bell down below so you get to be the first to know whenever we post similar videos like this. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. The idea behind creating the decentralized currency was to create an ecosystem parallel with the centralized system of economy which is administered by the rules set by the authorities where the people had to trust the central bank to uphold the value of its currency. The currency operated completely under the discretion of the government. One classic example would be the financial crisis of 2008, which was caused due to bad loans issued by the banks and in return, the banks who were alleged of the crisis were bailed out using taxpayer money or the public exchequer. The point being tax collected from the common people was used to save banks, despite being the accused. This displays the discretionary powers of the government. Many common people lost their life savings and jobs resulting in huge recessions. How does Bitcoin work? Bitcoin is a digital currency that needs a platform to record its transactions called a ledger. Bitcoins use blockchain, another revolutionary technology for a ledger operation. Before we move further, let me give you a brief on blockchain technology. Blockchain also called distributed ledger technology, forms the bedrock of Bitcoin by keeping records of all the transactions. Since this is open source and a public ledger, any user can access the transactions for verification. This system also eliminates the need for third-party verification, eliminating the trust-based transactions that currency banking systems follow. Bitcoin has some key terms. A public key, private key, wallet. The public key is the location where transactions are deposited into and withdrawn. This key represents the holder's digital signature on the blockchain ledger, similar to a username on a social media newsfeed. The private key is the password required to buy, sell, and trade the Bitcoin in a wallet. A private key should be a guarded secret and only used to authorize Bitcoin transmissions. 
Some users protect their private keys by encrypting a wallet with a strong password and, in some cases, by choosing the cold storage option. That is, storing the wallet offline. Let us consider an example of how Bitcoin transactions get executed on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. John wanted to buy Bitcoin from Jerry. He need to install a program on his digital device called a Bitcoin wallet that would have a public key acting as John's address to receive Bitcoin. John can now send Jerry his public key, who wants to sell Bitcoins in exchange for US dollars. After John transfers money to Jerry's bank account, Jerry will authorize the transaction using his private key, addressed to John's public address. This transaction gets executed through blockchain. Blockchain validates the transaction by comparing it with the majority of transaction pattern records over its database. Only after this process gets completed the transaction is permanently recorded over the blockchain network. Hence paid to John. John can now access the Bitcoin in his wallet using his private key. A cryptocurrency wallet is an application used to store cryptocurrencies. There are many types of wallets like hot wallets, cold wallets, used on different platforms like mobile, desktop, etc. How is Bitcoin generated? Bitcoin is produced by a method called cryptocurrency mining. The method of verifying the transactions to gain rewards, using significant computing power to form a block is called mining. Blocks contain information based on transactions, a nonce, 64-bit, a hash number, 256-bit, of the previous block. Note that you have to have significant access to electricity and should be able to maintain your computing rigs, hence called, mining rigs. The verification of transactions is accepted only when the newly formed block contains proof of work. POW is the process of finding a unique number called nonce. You need not do any calculations or math manually. All you have to do is have a capable electronic device and install the application which the creators prefer. The CPU or GPU in your device will do those calculations for you. It may be mandatory in some cases to keep the electronic devices connected to the internet. Trading on coin exchange platforms one can buy or sell the Bitcoin according to its market value at a given time interval, provided it has enough market liquidity. It is similar to trading on the share markets, but instead, a 24 asterisk 7 process. Bitcoin is neither stable as stocks nor backed by any physical commodity or assets. You do not receive any physical assets but only receive the addresses of the digital assets that you have purchased, which can be secured in your crypto wallets. There are dedicated platforms such as Binance, Coinbase, Pionex, for the same purpose. But do check for transaction fees before you trade on any of these platforms. How to safeguard and store your Bitcoin? Just like we use wallets for safeguarding fiat currency, there are tools called digital Bitcoin wallets. These wallets store your public key and private keys. The public key acts as an address to your account. The private key sensitive key used as the password to access your wallet. Anybody who has access to your private key can spend the associated cryptocurrency. The different types of wallets. 1. Desktop wallets 2. Mobile wallets 3. Online wallets 4. Paper wallets 5. Hardware wallets Is it safe to invest in Bitcoin? Bitcoin is known to be quite volatile. Its value is subject to a supply-demand basis, as it has to have continuous transactions to keep its network active. Bitcoin is a bubble, said some industry leaders. The steep crash of BTC value, from nearly $20,000 per Bitcoin in December 2017 to around $3,000 in November of 2018 was catastrophic. However, Bitcoin did not stop or vanished after the free fall, yet stood like a mountain and rose to the highest highest ever levels. It is again trading at $35,000 in January 2021, after hitting an all-time high of more than $52,000 very recently. Since the previous crash, Bitcoin showcased a sense of stability with a slow and a steady growth minimizing the volatility. And hence it attracted many other players from various sectors and also many institutions also jumped in to secure their cash reserves. Currently, Bitcoin is among the top 20 fiat currencies in the world according to market cap, 
outshining the fiat currencies of many countries. Despite all the criticism, many early investors of Bitcoin are worth millions now. We advise you to study the market and invest based on your risk assessments. Advantages of Bitcoin 1. Decentralized as mentioned earlier. Bitcoin cannot be controlled, administered by any central authority but is distributed among all peers worldwide. Bitcoin eliminated the intricacies of transactions in the current financial system that was trust-based transactions via banks. With the integration of blockchain technology, Bitcoin is being transacted on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, eliminating third-party interference. 2. Ease blockchain also allows the digital assets to be transacted with much ease as there is less paperwork and wait time for transaction confirmations. Since most of the processes are automated, there are very few issues related to human errors. 3. Economical Since the fiat currency was centralized and there was no other option other than using banks or financial companies like PayPal, which charge a hefty percentage on transactions. Charging nominal transaction fees helps to address the issue. Bitcoin transactions are set at the time that the miners might accept. 4. Secure No matter how secure the banks claim their systems would be since human interference is necessary for verification processes, there are always risks of fraud and insecure transactions. But Bitcoin offers multi-layer crypto algorithms to evade the risk of illegally privatizing the majority of digital asset networks. Most importantly, there is the slightest involvement of humans, which eliminates the factor of human error. 5. Anonymity It is a cause of concern that how much information is demanded by financial institutions for executing transactions. Your banking details or important identities may be stolen and misused. But using Bitcoin offers a feature to keep your identity anonymous that is valued by many. Bitcoin has been through a lot of ups and downs since its inception in 2009. Bitcoin is legal as a mode of payment and transaction in some countries like Japan, the USA, Singapore, Germany passed legislatures to allow trading Bitcoins to some countries where it is illegal to transact Bitcoins and other such currencies. People with interest term this as a great investment option, whereas some classify this as just another bubble as Bitcoin has no solid backing of any kind. It is essential to keep continuous watch over LTP, last traded prices. It is strictly advised to do your due diligence before investing. Hit the subscribe button for more videos. Without any further delays let's get started. Peer-to-peer -peer network sharing information and resources is an important part of information technology. A peer-to-peer -peer, P2P, network could help your business grow more efficiently by improving the connectivity and access to shared resources. A peer-to-peer -peer network is a platform in which two or more computer systems connect in order to share resources. In this article, we will provide you the complete guide on the peer-to-peer -peer, P2P, network and its overall aspects. Let us look into this review in detail now. What is the P2P network? A peer-to-peer -peer, P2P, network generally refers to a group of devices that store and share files. Each participant or node here acts as an individual peer. Usually, all nodes perform the same tasks and have equal power. In terms of financial technology, the word peer-to-peer -peer usually refers to the exchange of cryptocurrencies or digital assets through a distributed network. Without any intermediaries involved, a P2P platform allows the buyers and sellers to execute trades. Also, some websites grant a P2P environment that connects lenders and borrowers. How does P2P network work? With no central administrator or server, a P2P system is usually maintained by a distributed network of users. This is because each node holds a copy of the files which acts both as a client and as a server to other nodes. In the traditional client-server systems, client devices download files from a centralized server. Whereas each node can download files from other nodes or upload files to them in P2P networks. Here, the connected devices share files that are stored on their hard drives. Using software applications, users can query other devices on the network to find and download files. Once a user has downloaded a given file, they can then act as a source of that file. 
P2P networks tend to be faster and more efficient as every node stores, transmits, and receives files. Also, P2P systems are very resistant to cyber attacks due to their distributed architecture. Unlike traditional models, P2P networks do not have a single point of failure. P2P Network Types 1. Unstructured P2P Networks. The unstructured P2P networks are comparatively easier to build. Since the search queries are sent out to the highest number of peers possible, they may require higher CPU and memory usage. This, in turn, tends to flood the network with queries. These systems are resistant to high churn rates. Churn means the number of users joining and leaving the network. The lack of structure can make it difficult for users to find rare content. 2. Structured P2P Networks The structured P2P networks provide a specific organized architecture. It allows the nodes to efficiently search for files. These are not easy to build when compared to the unstructured P2P networks. These systems are less resistant to high churn rates. 3. Hybrid P2P Networks Hybrid P2P networks merge the conventional client-server model with some aspects of the peer-to-peer -peer architecture. There are wide varieties of hybrid networks. Hybrid models tend to present improved overall performance when compared to the other two types. P2P Network Applications 1. File Sharing File sharing is the process of providing the files and giving access for the users to download over the internet. File sharing makes use of the peer-to-peer -peer network model, where the personal computers of the users are regarded as the peers in the network. Peer-to-peer -peer file sharing differs from file trading in that downloading files from a peer-to-peer -peer network does not require uploading. 2. Bioinformatics Peer-to-peer -peer networks have also started to grab attention from various scientists, especially those working with large datasets such as bioinformatics. Peer-to-peer -peer networks can be used to run large programs that handle large amounts of data. For example, tests to identify drug candidates. This is possible since peer-to-peer -peer networks scale well. 3. Artificial Intelligence Swarm Intelligence SI, is an artificial intelligence technique based around the study of collective behavior in decentralized, self-organized systems. A peer-to-peer -peer network can be used to build the swarm intelligence where each peer in the network refers to a single agent. 4. Grid Computing Grid computing is a rising computer model that gives the ability to perform high-throughput computing, usually through the internet to solve large-scale computation problems. Grids use the resources of many separate computers, peers, connected by a network. Grids provide the ability to perform computations on large datasets, by breaking them down into many smaller ones. P2P network limitations The use of P2P networks on blockchains also poses some of the limitations. Adding transactions to a blockchain requires a massive amount of computing power. This is because distributed ledgers must be updated on every single node instead of on a central server. This provides good security but it greatly limits efficiency. This is one of the major obstacles when it comes to scalability and widespread adoption. Some of the notable examples include the Ethereum Plasma, Lightning Network, and the Mimblewimble protocol. During hard fork events, the attacks that may take place is another potential limitation. The groups of nodes are free to copy and modify the code and split away from the main chain to form a new, parallel network. Both chains may become vulnerable to replay attacks if the required security methods are not adopted properly. In addition, the distributed nature of P2P networks makes them relatively difficult to control and regulate. Several P2P applications and companies got involved with illegal activities and copyright infringements. In conclusion peer-to-peer -peer architecture is at the core of the blockchains that make cryptocurrencies possible. It can be developed and used in many different ways. By distributing transaction ledgers across large networks of nodes, P2P architecture offers security, censorship resistance, and decentralization. P2P systems find their extensive applications in blockchain technology. Ranging from file sharing networks to energy trading platforms, P2P systems can also serve other distributed computing applications. 
Peer-to-peer -peer computing is an emerging technology that is continuously evolving and finding new applications. It is believed that the technology will be increasingly